Welcome back, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. A reminder for you that a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for parts of Amherst, Bedford, Campbell, Pennsylvania, and Halifax counties. This does include the cities of Lynchburg and Danville until 530. A flash flood warning is in effect until 6 may be extended a little bit more. We'll see what the National Weather Service says here in a little while, but a flash flood warning remains in effect until 6 o'clock for the city of Lynchburg because of the potential dam break. What we're going to do is now toss it over to Chris. He's tracking where the rain is headed and where the rain is right now. That's right, and we've been working together, Jonathan, Jeff, and I over the course of the afternoon to track this rain for you just because it's been evolving pretty much second by second. Here's what we know right now is we're looking at the hardest hit areas from last night. You're looking at forest in Lynchburg. You see the greens and the yellows. This is obviously unwanted rain, but thankfully some stuff that has actually weakened over the course of the past, say, hour to uh, half hour. But we can see here with the rain rates as we put that on, you can see the worst of it heading towards forest is about two inches per hour. And then we also have some lighter amounts. So hoping that that weakening trend continues as we continue to track some heavy rain moving towards Chatham up US 29. Some very heavy rain there. Could see some ponding on the roadway as that moves off towards the northeast. Could get closer to Seneca and Alta Vista within the next half hour or so. Also another batch of moderate to heavy rain moving into South Boston, so we could see some river levels rising a little bit. Meanwhile, behind this line of showers and storms, some spotty showers in the Roanoke Valley, and then that should be it for the rest of the night tonight. Jeff. A look at future tracker you'll notice that we are looking at the showers and thunderstorms around seven o'clock mainly in areas east of the Blue Ridge but as we head say between 11 p.m. and around 1 a.m. a lot of this rain is fully gone frankly I think the heavy rain threat is gone by perhaps the early to mid evening hours leftover showers still around those will end though between around 11 p.m. and around 1 a.m. and then look at Saturday we may have a few clouds around on Saturday but it's been a while since I've said this I think for the most part we're dry on Saturday. We're going to have skies, I think, partly to at times mostly sunny on Saturday. Then as we head into Sunday, we're starting out pretty bright with skies mostly sunny. And as we head into Sunday afternoon, maybe a, a stray shower or thunder shower, but the vast majority of us are also dry on Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday, we're going to look at a much lesser threat for some rain and obviously a much lesser threat for some flooding. Tonight we're going to put the flash flood threat on the moderate level because we still of course have some heavy rain as Chris just told you about. And then on Saturday and Sunday we're going to have to monitor those river levels to see how they do. But the, the trend has been for them to start falling here. Crest time for the Dan River at South Boston will be Friday night. The Dan River at Danville and the Dan River at Paces, uh, they have actually already crested and are now falling. Minor flooding is forecast at these three locations, but again and we are looking at uh, certainly uh, not a huge threat for any major flooding along the rivers, which is good. And frankly, you usually see the highest threat for flooding for the rivers, not in the summertime. You usually sp see that in the springtime. So for tonight, showers and thunderstorms exit areas of fog, then form overnight lows tonight in the 60s, more specifically mid to upper 60s. And then tomorrow, hotter, more humid with high temperatures, mainly in the 80s, may stay in the upper 70s towards hot springs. The Friday dew point, though, that's also going to drop too. It's not going to be quite as humid tomorrow with those dew points in the mid to upper 60s after several days where those dew points were like in the lower 70s, even some middle 70s. So it's going to feel better tomorrow. So for Sunday, we're looking at highs around 91. 91 on Monday, mid to upper 80s Tuesday and Wednesday, and then another chance uh, for some hit or miss thunder showers here as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So for the most part, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday look pretty dry. The chance for more rain then goes up mid to late next week, but it doesn't look like anything like what we dealt with.